Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at when you hover over an image, making it zoom in a little bit or a lot, depending on the effect that you're going for. So let's dive into Squarespace and make the good times zoom. So we've got a blank page, I'm just going to go to edit the page, I'm going to chuck a bog standard image block in. Let's just grab any image from Unsplash, let's go with this picture of... No, let's go with that one. Add that to the site. Wait a good while sometimes for it to process and resize. Take me a little camper van. Oh, there we go. It's resized. Okay, apply. And then I'm just going to put a space block in to make this image a little bit smaller so it's not taking up the whole page. Okay, it's saved. And then I'm going to go to Squarespace block slash collection identifier. If you've not used this before, I mention it pretty much in every single video. So I'll leave a link in the description to it if you want to install it for Chrome, that is. So I'm going to click on our image ID. Let's close that block identifier down. We're going to go to design, custom CSS, and then I'm going to paste the block ID in, followed by a colon, and then hover. No space in between the block ID and the hover. Then we're going to leave a space, and we're going to put IMG. Not OMG, IMG. Normal brackets down the line, and then I'm going to put transform, colon, scale, normal brackets, and then I'm going to start off at 1.1. I'm going to come outside of them normal brackets, I'm going to put a semicolon down the line, and then we're going to put transition, colon, and then I'll start this one at 0.4 of a second, so 0.4 S space ease hyphen in hyphen out semicolon. So that's all we need to do pretty much to get this image to zoom in when we hover over it. But as you'll notice, it's sort of like snapping back to its original size when we move the mouse away. So it's like hover and then it's instant going away. So basically we just need to reverse the transition. So when you move the mouse away, it's also doing the transition backwards as well. So to do that, we're going to just copy everything that we've done there. I'm going to come down, paste it back in. And then what we're going to do is remove hover and the colon. And then this transform scale, we're just going to put this to one. So remove the note the 1.1, just leave it at one. And then you'll see that that eases the transition. So this top part of the CSS we put in, this is telling it what to do when we hover over it. So we can adjust the scale if we wanted to. So we could add it zoom in a bit more. We could take it up in small increments, say like 1.4, um, or you could take it up massively to like, I don't know, two which will zoom right in. And we can also adjust the transition speed that it happens at. So at the moment, we've got 0.4 seconds if we put a one in front of that. You see it's a lot slower zooming in and a lot quicker zooming back out again because we've got 0.4 on the bottom section, which is what is happening when we take the mouse away. So it's just a case of tuning this then to get it to look how you want it, how quickly you want it to zoom in, zoom back out again. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's a simple little bit of code that can give a nice effect to your site. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave us a thumbs up below. If you're not already, please do subscribe for more stuff like this and hit that bell thing to let you know when I've uploaded another video. And, um, oh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. So yeah.